This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and welcome back to Docker series. So in this particular video, quickly I'll tell you how to install Docker on Mac machines, right? So without wasting our time, go to Google and simple write download Docker. And you just need to click on this first link, right? This, I mean, the second link, Docker desktop for Mac. So we need to download Docker desktop and here, you can see that yes, Docker desktop for Mac and Windows. You click on this, and uh, here it will tell you Docker desktop for Mac. And if you are using Docker, if you want to use on Windows, you need to click on this link. But I'm using Mac machine right now. Click on Docker desktop for Mac. And uh, this Docker.dmg file will be installed on my system. You can see that okay, yes, it's around 650 MB. And it takes around two to three minutes to download. It depends on your internet connectivity. And then once this is done, okay, we will install Docker or Mac machine. So let's wait for two minutes, less than one minute. And then we will see how we can exactly we can download. So guys, Docker, if I give you a basic idea that as I've already told you, Docker on Windows, it will, Docker is based on Linux. So it actually uses the Linux command and Linux kernel it uses internally. So whenever you have to install Docker on Windows, what you have to do, you have to install Docker Toolbox or a Docker Desktop on Windows machine. So on Windows command prompt, you cannot do that easily. So that's why it provides its own toolbox. You can download Docker command prompt and then you can execute all the Docker commands over there. It actually uh, installed Doc, uh, Linux uh, command VM on your system and then on Windows machine and then it will do it. Same thing. Uh, over here, Docker desktop we will be installing, but here we don't need to install a separate toolbox or something like this. It's quite straightforward on Mac machine. It's very fast as compared to Windows also. And then easily you can install and you can start using it. So see, only 19 seconds are left. So once this is done, we will quickly launch this .dmg file. Okay, it's very, very straightforward installation. And then uh, let it, Six seconds, five, four, three, two, one, and done. Okay, so once this is done, so I'll just launch this particular uh, DMG. You just double click on it. It will say that, okay, opening docker.dmg. It is verifying this particular DMG file. And uh, after that, okay, it will do its, it's opening this particular docker.dmg file. It's checking the volumes, I mean, allocation on your system and uh, let's see showing something so far yeah so can you see that it's saying something like this you just need to drag and drop to your application folder you just need to drag and drop over here in your application folder and i'm already having the older docker so i'm gonna replace it okay the Docker is already in use. I'll do one thing. The previous Docker, which is already running on my system, I'm going to quit my Docker. Okay, and then again, I'll just drag and drop over here, and then replace. So once it is replaced, it is actually going to copy the new Docker in my application folder. And uh, once this is done, you can launch your Docker directly from your Mac machine. So once this is copy is done, we will go to application folder and in application folder, one second, yeah, I'll go to Docker, 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 yeah, here it is. And you just need to double click on it and then start using it. So when you double click on it, it's verifying your Docker. And then uh, let's see what exactly it does after some time. Okay, so this is only first time activity guys, that's it. So once this is verifying and installed completely on your system, then we will start using it. So let it be like this. Yeah, this is done and you just need to click on open. And once this is, you click on open, you can see that, can you see that this uh, icon got created over here next to your percent battery percentage or internet Wi-Fi icon and there is an icon. This is blue whale icon, right? You can see that Docker desktop is starting now. Okay, it takes few seconds to start 
you can see that still this icon is showing like this you can see that this it is still saying docker desktop is starting so once you see this particular green icon it means docker is absolutely working fine so here you can directly hit the docker commands directly on your uh, you know terminal so i'll go to my terminal so this is my terminal and here you just need to hit docker and the moment you hit docker it says okay yes different commands options it will show fine it means docker is installed properly on my system and then you simply write a docker uh, run as i told you in the previous video we have one container that is called hello world container you simply run hello world container it's saying that okay yes hello from docker this message shows that okay your installation appears to be working correctly absolutely working fine right and then i'll quickly check what are the different containers are available so simple by docker ps it's saying okay there are already three two containers are already there and then i'll check all the container list so my name is a you can see that okay there are so many containers are already available two hello world containers are available and one this sequence static site container is also available on my system so i'll do one thing i'll just simply delete this particular container and i install this container once again so how to delete you simply write uh, docker rm the image id and then again execute docker ps minus a you can see that uh, this uh, one more is there you need to delete this as well okay so simple write let's see so this is also gone and then i'll again check let me clear it and then let me check it again you can see that the sequential uh, the that particular uh, sequence static site is gone right and i have one command i'll show you one second you just execute this command docker run minus d minus p this is a container guys this container is already available sequence static site container is already available on docker hub so you just go to docker hub.com let's see hub. sorry my mistake Okay. hub.docker.com and uh, you need to log in into the application i'm already logged in into this application and you search for this particular container sequence static site container is available you can see that see this is a container and this container is a dummy container which will help you which will give you a simple a message over there just kind of a web application and uh, what you need to do you just need to execute this particular command docker run run this particular container so just execute it and see the docker container is available now and then after that you simply write docker ps minus a you will see that uh, see sequence static site is running the container is up and running now around status is six seconds ago right created around seven seconds ago and status it's up and running from last six seconds and then it's running on my 32768 port number so randomly it will create any random port it will take any random port number and it will be working now it's this particular application this sequence whatever sequence the static side is actually working on my laptop working on my system i can show you right away so it's running on my local host so my local host ip address is 192 whatever your ip address is this and then you execute this Oops, it's not saying let me check it again Let's see with one seven sixty nine. Maybe this problem with this application. See, you can see that hello Docker. See, this application is absolutely working fine on this particular IP address seven sixty nine IP address. Okay, so this is amazingly good, guys, and it means yes, my Docker commands are working fine. My Docker's are available over here. It's absolutely working fine. My Docker desktop is also up and running, and whenever. you want to check that how many containers are available you just simply hit this particular command docker ps minus a it will tell you how many command i mean how many docker images container images are available right now i have so many like this out of that sonar cube is working some db container is also working and out of that i have these things are okay these containers are not working right now because i have already exited okay but one container the sequence site is working right now so you can start the container you can stop the container you can remove the container you can kill the container and every container will take some okay space on your system base 
right some space memory as well as your disk size also it will take hard disk size also it will take so see i'm not taking any so many hardware machines all these containers i'm actually installing on my mac machine on my mac laptop right on my hardware so later on now we will start after this video we will start the actual things how can you install sql server through the container how can you install jenkins through container how can you install sonar cube through container such kind of things some good examples we will take and some very important commands also i'll tell you for docker point of view which will help you to crack the interviews as well okay so thank you so much for watching this particular video guys and thanks for subscribing the video and uh, please subscribe to the channel guys thank you so much